Hey friend, you're listening to the Bible Tracked Echoes radio broadcast. I'm Mike McCurry, your host. I'm so very thankful that you've chosen to be a part of this program today. You know, it's absolutely amazing the fact that I get to sit here and to speak to you through this microphone to people far and wide in so many different states and so many different countries. And the fact that you would choose to be a part of this broadcast, it really means something to me. I greatly appreciate that. Today is going to be a little bit of a different broadcast. You see, I'm going to be doing the one talking. I'm going to use my voice, but I'm going to be speaking on behalf of some of you. You see, not too long ago, at the beginning of this month, actually, was late September, I asked for God's people to band together with us here at Bible Tracks Incorporated in prayer. Every time, and I've said this time and time again, but every single time that we've put a special emphasis on prayer, God has seen fit to do marvelous things. He's blown open doors that we didn't even anticipate being possible, humanly speaking. And to my chagrin, to my shame, somehow it still surprises me when God answers prayer. I know it shouldn't be that way. I'm working on that, okay? You work on that with me. But I asked at the beginning of our prayer effort for people to band with us in prayer. I'll tell you how you can jump on the bandwagon with us here in just a moment because we need more people praying. We need more people like you. But at the very beginning, I asked people to share their favorite prayer answer, their favorite answer to prayer, the time when they have besought God's face and God has seen fit to show up in a great way. Today, I ask you the same thing. I've got dozens, actually over a hundred different favorite answers to prayer to share. I probably won't get through all of them today, but I'd ask you, do you have a favorite answer to prayer? If so, I'd love to hear about it, and maybe, just maybe, it'll make an appearance on this radio program in future. Again, probably not today because we've got a lot to get through because so many people have seen so many answers to prayer, and I'm thankful for that. That word, thankful. That's going to be kind of a theme today. Answers to prayer that we're thankful for. It's going to be kind of a theme, thankful all this week. We're gearing up for the month of November. And oftentimes we think of Thanksgiving. We think of the month of November as this time of Thanksgiving. Friend, it ought not so to be that we only decide to be thankful one-twelfth of the year during November. Or, God forbid, one-fifty-second of the year during the week of November, or the week of Thanksgiving. Or even worse, one three hundred and sixty fifth of the year on one day on Thanksgiving Day. No, friend, we should be thankful all the time. And that's going to be kind of the central thrust and thought this week. But we begin by listening to some of you. If you'd like to share your favorite answer to prayer with me, I'd love to rejoice with you. I was staggered by some of these to hear about them. If you'd like to share yours, you can text me right now. Text the word prayer. That's P-R-A-Y-E-R. That'll get you signed up so that you hear about future prayer requests from BTI, but you can also share your favorite prayer request right after that. Just text the word prayer to this phone number. Are you ready? 309-316-7240. Again, that number is, I'll give it to you real nice and slow, send your favorite answer to prayer to this phone number. Text me at 309-316-7240. I'm excited to dive into some of these answers to prayer. We're just going to jump right in. While you're texting your favorite answer, listen with one of your ears while I'm talking here. Pastor Chad, I won't give you people's last names just for their privacy, but down in Oklahoma, he said this, I know it sounds corny. Uh, normally when people say that, it's not going to be corny, especially when we're talking about prayer. He says, I know it sounds corny, but I'm thankful he, capital H, talking about Jesus Christ, talking about God, I'm thankful he answered my prayer for salvation. I'm also thankful for my family who serves God. Now, there's 
two for the price of one. But that first one, good night. I'm thankful God answered my prayer for salvation. And did you know that if you would like to accept Christ as your Savior, He will always answer your prayer as well. Let me encourage you, if you have questions about salvation, it prompts me to think maybe there's someone listening right now and the Holy Spirit moved on your heart when you first heard me say that. Maybe, just maybe, you're not sure of your eternal destiny and you'd like to be. You can text me as well. Just send a personal note. I won't publicize it. You won't end up on the radio. You can text me at 309 316 four zero. Just a few weeks ago, a man from down in Texas, he told me, I prayed a prayer and I meant it with my heart. I may have voiced it with my mouth, but I meant it in my heart and I accepted Christ and I know I'm saved. As a result of this very radio broadcast, you could do so today. Pastor Chad says this as well. I'm also thankful for my family who serves God. What a joy it is. I'm blessed by my amazing wife. I'm blessed with my children and the fact that we get to go to church together. I'm so thankful for my in-laws. I'm thankful for my parents. I'm thankful for the fact that I get to serve alongside my brother-in-law, Brother Austin Marriott, the lead designer, director of operations here at BTI, Bible Tracks Incorporated. I have a family I'm blessed with that serves God, but maybe you're wondering, how can I get my family there? Well, you know, a great place to start would be prayer because God answers prayer. We jump in. Let's see here. Here's another pastor. These aren't all pastors, I promise, but another pastor, Pastor Henry. And again, I'll withhold that last name from Elkhorn, Wisconsin says this, we needed a house when we moved to Racine, Wisconsin to pastor. And somehow we connected with a farmer who had a house and building for our storage and stuff and all that. When we asked him how much he thought, he said, how about a hundred dollars a month? Now, I don't care how long ago that was. $100 a month sounds like a really good deal. He said that lasted for a full year until we found other housing. What a blessing to see God do amazing things. He, he answers all kinds of prayers. He answers little prayers. He answers big prayers. He answers medium-sized prayers. Whatever type of prayer you think you have, God answers prayer. We're going to continue on here. We're going to find some more. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. I'm going to go with a brother, Dan, from Fort Worth, Texas. we got two from the south, Oklahoma and Texas today. Fort Worth, Texas. He says, in answer to what is my favorite answer to prayer, the salvation of my mother-in-law. Now, brother Dan is a Baptist preacher. He said this, my mother-in-law was not happy when a Baptist preacher married her daughter. It took years before I could even talk to her without a very negative response. Her health began to fail, and I asked her about eternity, meaning life after death, and she said, you know, I've been thinking about it. And I, Brother Dan said, had the joy of leading her to accept the Lord as her personal Savior. Now, I can probably speak for Brother Dan when I say that he was not ugly about the gospel. He didn't try to shove the gospel and Jesus Christ down his mother-in-law's throat. No, I'm pretty sure he lived, knowing Brother Dan, the little bit that I do, I'm pretty sure he lived in such a way that he was a personal testimony. Now, lifestyle evangelism is not the only way to reach people, but can I tell you, it is certainly a good way to reach people. Let's find another one here. Miss Elizabeth Again, from up in Wisconsin, that's two from Wisconsin, says back in 1981, I was chaperoning some girls at a weekend retreat. And that Sunday morning, the pastor's message included scripture after scripture about God's faithfulness. He gave us what was called a gap book, a God answers prayer book with space on the left hand page for a date and your prayer request, and he explained that the right page, the right-hand page, was to be left empty because that was to be left open for the answers and the date of God's answer to prayer, indicating God's faithfulness. God answered all my recorded prayers in that book, but I can never repay him for his faithfulness in guiding me with definitive answers when I really needed his guidance. Think about that. 
Think about the goodness of an almighty God that will guide you. She included a, uh, a Bible verse here. Let me look it up for just a moment. Psalm 100, verse number 5, she said this, For the Lord is good, his mercy is everlasting, and his truth endureth to all generations. What a huge blessing that is to think about the fact that God Almighty hears and answers my prayers. He hears and he answers your prayers as well, and I'd love to hear about them. You can text me your favorite answer to prayer to 309-316-7240. Now, we got time for maybe one more answer to prayer. Here's Michael from Phoenix, Arizona. He says this, in 2015, he had a nearly fatal motorcycle accident. And as he cried out, Michael says, he, meaning God, ran to his rescue. And obviously, Brother Michael is still around for us to praise God together. That was a nearly fatal motorcycle accident. But Brother Michael, I'm glad that you may be listening right now. I'm glad that God didn't take you home at that moment. Let me encourage you that are listening. Do you have a favorite answer to prayer. I have a thought on thankfulness, something that something that we all could do better about. Uh, we're going to dive into that tomorrow on the broadcast, but maybe we'll intersperse a few more favorite answers to prayer. We are continuing throughout this month of October to really dive in deep to making prayer an integral part of your life and mine. Let me encourage you, if you need an accountability partner when it comes to prayer, I'd love to help you with that. Again, you can text me. Text the word prayer, the word prayer to 309-316-7240. And let me encourage you before we sign off for this particular episode to use gospel tracks. The closer you get to God, the more you want to tell other people about him. And so let me encourage you as you go about your daily life to let other people know about the glorious gospel of Jesus Christ and to use gospel tracks. I greatly appreciate the fact that you've joined us today. I'm going to encourage you, if you would, to join us tomorrow as we dive into a thought a month early, a month before Thanksgiving, but as we talk about thankfulness and how it relates to prayer. Have a great day for his glory. God bless.